Yo, what is up guys? So Diablo 3 season 16 is just around the corner with the PTR coming out this week. Now let's go ahead and jump into what the heck is new. But just as a heads up, the gameplay that you guys are seeing is Diablo 2 on a modded server called Reaper of Souls. But it, it does have some things from Diablo 3, but it's completely irrelevant to the PTR. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it. What would be the reason for you jumping into season 16 or the PTR that's going to be coming out this Wednesday. But anyways, the big buff for this season is Season 16 Season of Grandeur, and it's going to apply the Royal Ring of Grandeur for everybody, uh, whether you have it in the cube or not. Now, just as a heads up, it doesn't stack with a other Ring of Royal Grandeur. You can't just apply it the buff plus get the uh, actual Ring of Royal Grandeur, so you can't basically double up on them. But uh, anyways, yeah, Ring of Royal Grandeur is pretty cool. It makes so you need one less set item it's going to give everything to be plus one, which is kind of nice for sages. And also if you want to run like focus and restraint plus have like another ring, it's just going to allow you to do a little bit more in the game, which I do think is kind of cool. There's finally a reason to kind of hop back in to Diablo 3 to try out and make newer builds. Because that's one thing that I really value in games is to try to make new content. And this will technically allow you to do certain things that you normally wouldn't be able to do. Now also, the big other change is to the set Legacy of Nightmares, which instead of giving you 100% bonus damage, as long as it's the only set uh, piece that you have, as far as like having multiple set pieces, the only set bonus that you have on your character, you're going to increase your damage dealt by 100% for every ancient item. But in this patch, they're actually changing it to be a little bit higher so that's kind of cool it's going to go from 100 percent to 500 percent which is pretty cool this is all another thing that's going to allow you to do different builds this technically hasn't been too competitive the last time that i remember it i, I saw it one time on like a dh and then also there was a crusader build with it but uh, for the most part there are a lot of other changes that i think are very small so i'm going to kind of go ahead and sum up the patch notes but again the main thing that is being changed over here is they're giving everyone the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Another thing I wanted to mention really quick is it says unlike previous seasonal buffs, this buff will not apply to non-seasonal players. So therefore, yeah, if you're not going to be playing on the seasonal, you won't get this buff. But one thing that I wanted to mention also that um, will kind of suck is after the season goes away, like it's going to be harder to top some of those like leaderboards. So if you are really interested in pushing leaderboards, this is definitely one to push because they've actually buffed up a ton of other things. But the rest of the stuff is basically integer changes. There's a few of other quality of life changes, but they're pretty small as far as like actually changing the gameplay, which is what I was really looking forward to in any new season of Diablo, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. But they added uh, additional five armory tabs for all of the characters. Um, also on the PTR, they actually mentioned that they're going to give you double blood shards as well as uh, higher legendary drop chances. But uh, to answer some of the questions you guys might have, which is when is this PTR going live for season 16? Again, PTR meaning that it's just public test. Things are of course subject to change when they come out on live. But it's basically season 16 to try to test out certain builds and stuff like that. But it's going to be starting on Wednesday, November 21st. And yeah, I will be streaming it. So if any of you guys are interested in catching me live, seeing what kind of crazy builds we can find out on this new season, feel free to go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I will definitely be streaming it all night. We'll test out a lot of different things. Uh, but they did say there'll be two different buffs on the PTR. So they're going to have increased legendary drop rate. Usually this was set at 2000%. And they also have double blood shard drops, so that's kind of cool too. It just lets you kind of progress faster so you can test out certain things. Uh, it did say that the PTR was going to be like a week. I'll, I'll get to that. I think it's like at the bottom of it. But anyways, uh, to really sum it up over here as far as other changes, um, they made another thing where they made it so Primal Ancients actually uh, show red. Uh, they have a red beam. Again, these are small changes, which then it's not going to really change the gameplay up too much. It's just kind of quality of life and then the additional army tabs and then primal legendaries now have a red border and updated background on their icons again it's not changing too much gameplay so i'm not gonna get into that but again the big changes is the royal ring of ranger and the legacy of nightmares now there are a lot of changes for different classes i'm going to give you guys like a too long didn't read version so some of them are like just double triple quadruple damage and i'm going to basically kind of round the numbers to make it simple and make this video a little bit faster so you're not going to sit here forever and i'm not going to talk about each individual one at least in this video but uh 
Uh, I do want to talk more about the uh, changes to the Royal Ring Grand Room, other like ideas and theory crafting. So let me go ahead and go over this kind of fast to show you guys the changes for each different class. So they are changing some of the class sets to make them more viable and competitive. However, there are some that actually got buffed, which I didn't really think they needed to buff necessarily, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, Raycor, this is, these are all barbarian changes for the six piece bonuses. So. Ray Corps went from 28 to 7,000, so I'm, I'm basically going to say like this is double, okay? So it's a little bit more than double damage for the Immortal King set. You're looking at more than triple, so it's going from 15 to 4k. Might of the Earth is basically quadrupling the damage on it. Uh, Wrath of the Waste is going to go uh, over triple percent, uh, which is the uh, Whirlwind set. Uh, this is another set, though, that I wanted to mention that would have a really good bonus effect because normally you'd run that Barbarian uh, Ring, and therefore, if you really wanted to run like a build that can run focus and restraint, then you could have that ring and you'd have a ring of grandeur. Like there's just a lot more potential. If you guys get what I'm saying with these new changes coming to season 16. So this season, I actually think there's like a reason to jump in because again, there's potentially new builds that you can play. And I also want to talk about how the community feels about, you know, these changes in general, because I want to go over the comments uh, that people are posting right now. As far as Crusader goes, um, the Thorn set, we got like a double uh, on like the uh, two set, a little over that. And then for the six set, we got basically triple on the six set bonus for the Thorns. These are all for Crusader now. Uh, Roland's Legacy, uh, you're going to get a bonus. Uh, I believe this is like the sweeping attack build. It goes from uh, 33 to 13,000, so like basically quadruple over there. And then also the six set bonus gives you additional 25% attack speed, which is kind of nice as well. And then for Seeker of the Light, uh, the six set uh, bonus over here is going to be instead um, from 2,000 bonus to 12,000. So that's like six times. That's, that's actually a pretty big bonus for Blessed Hammer. Uh, next up for Demon Hunter, we've got a quad boost on the Marauder set. And then for the Unhallowed set, uh, we're looking at Instead of it being a 100, we're looking at 350, so that's like a little bit more than triple. And then for Mentalities, we went from 3,500 to 14,000. That's a pretty big jump, too. The Shadow's Mantle actually took a double buff over here. So we have the two-set bonus, which is going to increase all of your damage when you have a melee weapon. Uh, instead of it being 1,200%, it's now going to be 6,000%. And so that's like triple right there. But... In addition, oh, no, I'm sorry, more than, it's like way more than triple there. Uh, the sixth bonus is going to go from 50,000 to 75,000. That's where it's like the first uh, enemy hit by Impale. So it's going to not only do 25% more damage with just the six set bonus, but also with the two set bonus, instead of being 1,200%, you're looking at 6,000%. So this could be a huge buff. And that's honestly one of my favorites. Uh, in fact, I think a couple seasons ago, when we got rank one on the first night, you guys know that pretty much when I play, I usually only play for the first few nights because that's when I find it really fun to push the leaderboards. But after a while, sometimes people end up botting or it just becomes people share accounts so they're able to kind of progress a little bit faster. Uh, but I really like the first night and uh, last time I did hit it with the uh, shadow set. So maybe we'll try with that once again. Uh, I don't know if Peter will have leaderboards, but nonetheless, that is the changes with the Demon Hunter. Next up, we're going to be moving on to the Monk with Ulianas, going from 2100 to 9000%. Um, and then uh, Inna's actually went from 150% over here for the 6 set bonus uh, for e every Mystic Ally that you have to 1500. That's that's a huge jump. <laughs> that's like 10 times. Um, then we have Monkey Scar going from 1000 to 1500, so 1.5x 1 buff. Uh, Radiment going from 100 to 400 for two set, 13,000% da damage from the uh, dashing strike to 60,000. And then um, six set bonus uh, from the spirit generators to 6,000. Those are the changes with the monk. And then uh, with the necromancer, there's only one change with the necro. So the six set bonus has been increased from 33 to 38. Small little change with necro over there. The Witch Doctor, the Spirit of Arachne, is going to go basically doubling that, the success bonus. Helltooth is going to be double from the two set, and the six set it's going to be basically doubled as well. Uh, the Jade Harvester is going from 560 seconds to 3,500 on the second uh, set bonus. And then the uh, six set bonus, or, yeah, two set bonus from 560 to 3,500, that's like a huge jump. And the six set bonus is going to be from 1,650 to 10,000 seconds. So yeah, that's the amount of like damage, which is pretty crazy. 
And then Zuni Masters is going to go uh, from the 6 set bonus where enemies hit by your mana spenders take 5,500% increased damage from your pets. It's going to be increased to 15,000%. Uh, and again, this is another build where if you had the Royal Ring of Grandeur, it's going to be even better because, well, normally you'd have to run uh, Tasker and Theo, right? So uh, that's pretty cool too. Uh, again, that's where I was thinking that builds would be a little bit more innovative, hopefully in Season 16. Uh, for Wizard, as far as their changes go, uh, the 6 set bonus from Tal Rasha is going to go uh, from 750 to 3000, so we're looking at a pretty decent little increase uh, over there. And then from uh, Delzir's Magnum Opus. Now, this is a crazy change. It's getting like double, over double the amount of damage here. And this was already a build that people widely considered to be pretty meta and pretty strong. Uh, next up, we have Veers. And Veers set, the 6 set bonus has been increased from 50% bonus damage to 100. Again, a pretty big buff over there. Now, it goes over how to participate, but I assume if anyone's watching Diablo content on the PTR, they know what the heck to do. But if you want to read it, feel free to go ahead and check that out down below. I'll go ahead and just link that as far as the uh, patch notes and tell you how to copy your character. Again, nothing that I would consider to be really uh, extremely like new, right? But uh, yeah, those are the changes for the PTR. Now I kind of want to just scroll down and see how the community feels about this. Um, I'm going to give you guys my opinion before I even bother reading them. I think the Royal Ring of Grandeur is a cool change, but it's very small as far as like effort on there. And it's a small change, but it does actually allow you to have different builds. Um, one thing that I would really like to see, and I had, this is kind of something that someone mentioned before I saw in just some Blizzard forum post, is to be able to have like a secondary class, meaning that you can choose your class and then you'd be able to pick another class, maybe get one or two skills from the other class, and then maybe like one or two passives. That's content that technically already exists in the game, or even being able to equip sets from other characters from your subclass. That would be pretty cool and open up the doors for a lot more builds while still making it so they don't have to essentially create new content because i want to say most of the content is probably them focusing over on the new diablo projects but i would still like to see something new i wish there was new legendaries but again the the ring is cool for me definitely gives me a reason to at least try to make new builds now let's go ahead and jump in to uh what the heck people are talking about i'm sure there's gonna be people to complain but i'm just kind of curious this is my first time checking out all right so let's go ahead and uh let's zoom in and actually no we can't zoom in too far otherwise it's gonna crop some of the stuff but anyways here's some of the comments so the one with the most upvotes over here it says fans poe is coming out with amazing content patch what are you going to do diablo does i know we'll triple all the numbers and give everyone an rrg you guys can get to greater up 150 now that's new content right right well, I will say that it is something that is at least kind of cool. Uh, I, I understand that they do need to, of course, kind of work on the next Diablo projects. But again, I thought that that was a really cool idea. Just giving the ability to select perhaps passives from other classes uh, would be kind of cool. I know that there would be crazier builds. The scaling of this game it could go a lot higher um, for some people, and that would be cool. Some people don't like that idea. But I just feel like there needs to be a desire for some of us to put thousands of hours into Diablo to really come back in this season. And uh, that would definitely, you know, add a lot more content to at least try off. I and mean, they're so pathetic. You're delusional if you thought any new content for D3 was coming at this stage. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? I just wanted to read a couple of the comments. Uh, logged in to give it a like. So, uh, okay, they're just, they're basically memeing it. I'm, I'm wondering if anyone is, uh, I love folks, this is Riker. <laughs> okay, uh, Legacy Nightmares. Yeah, again, that is another thing that incorporates potentially new builds because, again, that 500% bonus compared to 100 kind of lets you do new things. Um, so let's all play PoE instead. There's no microtransactions. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, let's see what this says. says. Glad to see this game is uh, tuned only to wearing class sets and no creative thought put into class equipment combo. So also, will this PTR be available on all mobile? <laughs> okay, I think, I think at this point, they understand they probably you know have read these things but to be honest the uh legacy of nightmare set is a set that is an anti-set set if you guys get what i'm saying i think that that is still kind of something cool that i would be interested in at least trying out other builds with but for the most part i would say there is still definitely uh a desire to see more content with diablo 3 uh as far as uh, that goes but anyways uh it's just yeah, oh, see, okay at least this season we got something, okay? If they said you got double, like, crafting materials, I would have been like, I'm honestly just going to be playing more Diablo 2 mods. But, uh, anyways, 
yeah, that's the patch notes. Those are my thoughts. I would love to know yours down below in the comment section below. What do you guys think of this new change to the season? Are you guys happy with it? Are you upset with it? What would you like to see changed down below? Let me know. And again, I want to say since they are focused on the newer Diablo projects, we can't realistically say we would like to see a new class or a new set of skills. That would be really cool, and I'm not saying that I wouldn't want that, but I want to say that they, the new content to Diablo 3 has to be existing content that they can easily quickly add. Again, the RRG would be uh, like a really quick change. I remember one person said that if you just uh, put something in Kunai's cube, that it would just give it to you. All right. That would that would make a wild season. I'll tell you that for sure. I would not mind that. Let me know, guys, how you feel about that idea down below. If if you put something in the Kunai's cube, you just got it permanently. That way, you could have all the buffs, and your characters would be greater rift five hundred. <laughs> I don't know. It's a crazy idea, but that would make me want to play. You can't say if they said you put something in the cube, it permanently gives it to you that you wouldn't be like, oh, dude, I'm going to make some stupid build because I know I would love to see that kind of stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I'll be streaming the new content this week or on Wednesday when the PTR hits. So give me a follow on Twitch if you guys want to catch that and see that content live. We'll mess around with some builds, but I would also like to know what other builds you guys have in mind down below in the comment section below. I'm excited to be able to run like Focus Restraint and also have RRG and Renditalis. Like there's a lot of crazy stuff that we can try out at least. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out guys. Have a good one. If you're new to the channel and want to see more Diablo 2 content pretty much. Uh, I, I will do the Diablo 3 stuff, but after the PTR, um, I don't know. Unless we're adding something really new, probably going to do more D2. Probably going to do some more Lost Ark and some other video game content. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. Peace out. Have a good one. I'm signing out.